What is going on guys? It is your boy Sister here bringing you guys the first video of the new year. Happy 2016. Happy New Year's guys. I hope you guys had a really good time. Um, unlike me, it's still like 5 o'clock tomorrow or yesterday here. So like I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but it's going to be dope. Anyway, I hope you guys have a really good day and I hope you guys enjoy my video today. My first video, it's going to be a text effect tutorial. It's going to be a collage text effect tutorial. That's what I want to call this. Um, I think it looks pretty badass. Now the whole part of this is I can't really like teach you how to do something exactly, but I can definitely show you guys the techniques of how I did this right here because like there's a, like literally a crap ton of stuff you can, you can spend like hours in this one little box and like have a crap ton of fun. But I'm gonna show you guys at least some tips and tricks on how to like at least start yours and make yours look as cool as possible. And with that being said, don't forget guys, two hundred likes on the video equals a secret download below. And I'm thankful, by the way, for all the support you guys gave me on my yes uh, yesterday's video, the top five video. Uh, pretty dope that you guys did that for me. So thank you guys so much for that. I hope you do the same exact thing on this video here today. All right, guys, I'm ready to start this thing off. So basically, the only thing you're gonna need is probably like a picture. I have a picture here that I'm just going to be using. It's just like a mountain picture. This is what I use for this example here as well. Um, I just found it off Google. You know, little Chef Mountain, whatever that like code name means. Anyway, I'm just going to be using that picture. And with that being said, that's all you're going to be using really. And I mean, I do have patterns and stuff here, but that's not like really like, you know, needed. You can always put textures as well on, off of Google and stuff like that if you wish to. Um, there's a, like literally a crap ton of stuff. I don't even know where I'm going to start. Well, I know I'm going to start. I just don't know how I'm going to be able to finish this. But uh, or we're going to see what happens. So let's go ahead and get going right here, right now. So the way we start this is we're going to make a new layer. And we're going to go ahead and go to the rectangle tool. The reason for this is I want to be able to have like a really nice stroke like we have here. Like a perfect straight on stroke, no rounded edges, nothing like that. Because I want everything to be as clean and crisp as possible. So I'm going to be using the uh, rectangle tool here. So that's right here. And pretty much I'm just going to make a nice little size rectangle. I just guessed my size. I didn't do any like crazy sizes or anything like that. So I'm going to say that's pretty good. I'm just going to move it right in the middle. Make sure we're in the middle somewhere. All right, we're somewhere in the middle. Right there, sure. All right, whatever. So, once you have your rectangle done and you know made and created all that crazy stuff, pretty much the only thing I'm gonna be uh, doing is, actually I'm gonna fix this as well. Of course, I didn't put any stroke on it. So if you were to complete your rectangle, you don't know how to get back to it, all you have to do is go back to your rectangle tool and while you're selected on, on the rectangle tool, if you select the uh, the layer which, which has the rectangle on it, you can go up here and change your fill and stuff. So I'm gonna change my fill to a color uh I'll do that i'll do that for now i can always change the color later and then put my stroke on that's the the two little things here it's like illustrator if you guys are familiar with that uh you have a stroke fill and a uh fill like for your just shape itself so for the stroke you want to turn this on by just clicking on this little black box here it's off currently with this little slash going through click on that and then we're just going to put the points to like 1.5 nothing crazy just a good size and i believe that'll work oops i don't think it changed uh, 1.5 enter there we go and then I'm gonna keep the the stroke like I'm gonna keep it now like crazy dark black but like something like this like the second to last one here on this row you should have all these colors as well but uh if anything you just want to change your color to like a nice dark uh color which is either black I would probably go with black just 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 go with it just go with that <laughs> and then pretty much we have a rectangle set and ready to go that's pretty much what I started off here um excuse me here and uh, that's this is where we're gonna go ahead and go from this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and just type a word in. We're gonna type in collage. By the way, did I spell collage right? Like I don't, even, <laughs> I don't even know. Is that how you spell it? Like I really hope so. If not, like whoops. But uh, it's just like a word I never spell a lot ever. So like I don't know. I don't know. Right. Uh, we're gonna put that pretty big. And then for the word, we're just gonna fit it right in there for now. And my phone is vibrating. My bad. And pretty much, I'm gonna take this. We're gonna put this on white and press okay. Now we can change the color whenever you, you can change any color whenever you want to, it's all good, whatever it's gonna, just gonna we're gonna fix something else in a little bit as well. Um, at this moment here is where you can throw in your picture that you're gonna be using. For me, I reuse the same exact picture. You can use like a crap ton of stuff. Like for me, for example, I could probably put like, uh, like, a texture here not even a picture i put a texture here texture here just like to see how it looked and it did look really freaking cool so in all honesty i think using multiple pictures or multiple textures or multiple anything would be like the trick in this of course keeping your same color scheme i have grayscales, uh pink and orange kind of uh flow going here and it's just a really fun thing to do i really hope you guys enjoy this so anyway have the collage i'm gonna throw in my picture 
this mountain thing and we're gonna go ahead and just right now we're gonna clip mask it to the rectangle just like so and then we're gonna change the uh, layer mode here to I think we're gonna go with either color dodge or mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. linear dodge add we're gonna see which one looks best I kind of like pin light yeah I think we went with pin light the first time for my example as well so I think we're gonna go with pin light and we're just gonna put this pretty good opacity just enough we can see the image here that looks perfect sweet so this is where the whole part like it's kind of hard to teach but and all in all I'm just gonna try and copy the same one I did before but pretty much you just want to add as much as you can but as like like I don't know just as thoughtful as you can is that if that makes sense so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a box down here like I had on this text I have collage text here uh, the word text is here as well so pretty much the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna make a new layer right below the rectangle here I don't have to use the rectangle tool for this anymore I can just use the rectangle marquee tool uh, Marquette I don't even is that like how I, am I saying it right marquee like probably not like I've been saying that for like years so whatever whatever floats your boat we're gonna be using this uh, rectangle tool and with this is just a simple uh, just like mark uh, marching ant what do they call it in school like marching ants yeah we're gonna be using that and we can just fill this in with a color so Let's see here. What do I want? I want to have it like right here or something like that, right? And then to make it like flow as like best as possible, you have to use the same exact color as you use for your stroke. That way, it blends in pretty uh pretty well, and it should blend in perfectly. So I filled my uh form color here with this color by just clicking on the canvas on the black here for the stroke, and I press Alt Backspace to quick fill it in, or you can right click on the layer, fill it in, and then go to drop down color. And then just click here as well and then press ok you can do the same exact thing on your new layer inside your little marquee tool here so boom we have this going here now i kind of want to make it a little bit skinnier something like that that'll work and i'm gonna just type the word text in because all in all this actually took a lot like of i guess like trial and error for me to like make the text ex ex say text while still being like you know i'm gonna show you what i mean in a little bit what i mean actually i'm just so i totally teach you guys I did things where you can see the T and the E, the top of the T E through the box here, plus this as well as here. It just like it all makes sense. It's not just one layer of text. It's like three different layers and three different uh, layer modes to make it look like this. And I'm gonna show you guys how it, this is like by the most important thing, which is gonna help you out the most during like the little uh, little effect here. So I'm gonna go ahead and we will come back to here. And for this, I'm gonna put this word. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think this has a color. Uh, it's no, it's just white. All right, so we'll put the word text a little more smaller, and I'll say like rate. Mm, let's say like six. I guess six is okay. And we'll do something like that. And pretty much now, I want to be able to make sure, like I said before, I want to be able to sure I can see the T, the E, and the X. Uh, maybe even so, like so, it goes inside like here. Hmm, let's move this up a little bit, actually. So I'm gonna like here, and now we're gonna take the text. I'm gonna put it above for now. And I'm gonna say I wanna put the text here so it shows like right here. Yeah, that'll work perfectly. So the way I'm gonna do this is you're obviously gonna have to rasterize your layer to any to do any edits with anything you wanna do when it comes to like cutting things out and stuff. So make sure you spell your stuff right and basically to rasterize your text. Basically, all you got to do is right click on the text and go to rasterize type and now it's ready for editing and cutting out and stuff like that. So what I want to do here is I want to make sure I cut out within this box here. Uh, this is like where it's going to get tricky. So just pay attention. So pretty much out of this box here, I want to be able to cut out the words, the T, the E and the X so that I can see it underneath or through or I guess blended inside the box while still having this other part be white. Um, cause I can just leave it on top of here, but it won't look as fun. It won't look as creative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click within the box or I don't know if I can control click in this, but if I can't, I'm just going to click on my magic wand tool and I'm going to go ahead and, or we can just, uh, what would I have to do? I have to rasterize this. I don't want to rasterize that. So if I have to do anything like crazy, what would I have to do is I'll make a new layer for now. We're going to use the rectangle marquee tool again. And we're just going to basically make a uh, rectangle within the rectangle in here, just like so. That'll work. And we're just going to fill this in with a color. It really doesn't matter for now. And probably just going to put a fill color inside box. I'm just going to name everything just so I don't get lost and stuff like that. You should too. But anyway, what I want to do now is since I have this fill color inside the box, right, I just hit it. I'm going to hold control 
and click on the thumbnail. This will allow me to select the outsides or basically the, uh, the, the, the shape itself without like selecting anything else or whatever. Just selects the shape and you can also use the magic wand tool for this if you just want to click on the inside of this box. That's also fine. But what I want to do is I'm going to go to the text here. I'm going to press M on my keyboard, which brings me back to the rectangle marquee tool if you're not already on it. I'm going to right click on the layer here, just somewhere along the canvas, not the layer. And we're just going to go to layer via cut while we're selected on the text layer, just like so. And then for this, we're going to have two different, uh, basically, layers for the text. So this is the top of the TEX. XT, top of text. And then basically what I can do now is I can just change this blend mode to like overlay or something to make it be able to appear inside the box with like a cooler color. I can change it to like anything I want, hue if I wanted to, which looks pretty cool. Um, but I'm probably just going to leave it so I can show some kind of color. So I'm going to probably put it on overlay or soft light. I don't know. I'm probably going to change the color of this overall anyway. But that's like something you can do as well there. And that's how I kind of went on going through doing something like uh, this over here. So pretty much that's what I did over here. I cut that off from the top. I also did like a little cool little box here and I did the same thing here. I'll probably do it again. Why not? So I'm going to show you how I did that. So pretty much what I did was I made another... Uh, basically another square within the other square. So I want to, I just want to make another one here, maybe like something like this. I want to make it go out, sure. And then pretty much to get a stroke, all you would have to do is make a new layer and then right click with the rectangle marquee tool here, just like so. You want to go to stroke right here and then pretty much to get no curved edges, like if you, you know, usually you'd have a stroke and you put it like on your text or something like that, you would see curved edges. Uh, the reason for that is basically your Photoshop is kind of like uh, guessing where the stroke is going and because there's no selection shape, like this is obviously where you would like, this is selected. This is where something that I'd be at. So if I put on the inside, if I just change the five uh, points here, press OK, it'll be perfectly straight because the Photoshop is no longer guessing. It's just saying, yo, this is the inside. You want to make a stroke inside this. We know it's a perfect square or a perfect rectangle, perfect uh, uh, 90 degree angles. It'll make sure it's all perfect. So that's all you have to do there. Just put on the inside and then you got some pretty straight uh, strokes here. So. For this one, I'm going to probably change the color here to like a gray or something. I want to have like a third color going on. So I have black, this pink, and this gray. And we'll say like something like that. That'll work. Uh, all you got to do is change the color with a color overlay. And then pretty much we're going to rasterize this layer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did before. So I'm going to select this. Uh, this is the stroke tangle. <laughs> sure. And the little, uh, uh, excuse me, the stroke rectangle here going on press control click on the thumbnail so it selects it just like so you can see it selects it and we're gonna go back to our little text here and we're gonna cut in the middle of here that way we can still see the word text so i'm gonna right click layer via cut while i'm selected on the text layer now i have yet another thing of course if i hide this and whatever it won't show but if i put this above this here now and i put this on like overlay or something or if i also change the color as well i can do that so i'm gonna put it on like i don't know black uh, rasterize it and then put it on overlay let's see what that looks like and then we'll lower the opacity down so something like that you can do something like that's pretty cool I mean whatever I just change the color mess around with it a little bit and uh, it's just coming it's coming along together so we're getting somewhere um so so far we just basically I showed you guys how we did uh, the box part I showed you how to do something like this I also of course have like a lot more rectangles inside here um there I just mess with like a bunch of different layer styles you can do the same exact thing um, what I can show you guys here as well is maybe how I can do something like this, where you can just have like the border over there. You have some different things over here. Let's just show all that cool stuff real quick. So we're going to go ahead and also I'm going to try to put in a quick little box again in here. So I'm going to do a little box here and put it like something like here, having fun with this. And we'll make it white in a second. Uh, right click fill color, fill color. Oops. Make sure the color is white. I'll just put it on white. That's fine. And then we're going to deselect it. And we're going to flip through these layer styles really quick, see if we got anything cool. Um, right here, I think, is what I had. I had difference on. So, yeah, that's what I had to get that little, uh, you can get, like, two different colors out of this one white, uh, just black color, which is also white, actually. So the difference is going to be black. So when you put it over something black, it's going to turn out white. You get the, the whole thing. Um, so pretty much you can do something, like, right there. And we can just leave that. It looks pretty cool. Actually, what I'll probably do is make it up here and do something like that that looked pretty badass right all right we're getting somewhere that looks pretty dope all right sick so 
the way I got that little thing on the borderline, what I do is anytime I want to do something else different within the box, I'm going to make a completely new layer and I'm going to make it over again. So what I'm going to use, I'm just going to use the pen tool here. You can use like the rectangle marquee tool or let's, do, let's just do that. So use the, to get away from the pen tool because I know a lot of you guys don't like it. So to use a rectangle marquee tool here and basically we're going to trace this box again. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to trace the box. It's going to go right here. And if I hold shift, it'll, uh, it'll basically make a, uh, how would you say, like it would basically create within this already made little uh, rectangle here. And if I click again, you can see it's going to make it. And I did mess up just a little bit. So I'm going to go off or, I'm over one and I'm going to move it over. So I messed up here, but I'm just going to move over once with my arrow keys. That way it's fine. That works for me. Um, and yeah, there we go. So basically when I, when I held shift, it combined these two together. Now on this new layer, I can just make a color and fill it in for now just so I can see it. And I'm probably gonna erase that little edge there because it's gonna make me upset. Boom, and now basically what I can do is I can go ahead and just take in the uh, picture again, or I can just use this one. I'm gonna alt drag it to duplicate it, just like so. Right click, click mask, there we go. And I can just change this color to like a cool gray. Uh, let's see here. Uh, or I can just take this gray. We'll just take that gray, all right. Uh, Rashes layer for the color to, uh, the color overlay to go away. That way you can see what's over the uh, click mask here, which is the uh, the picture. And we're gonna go ahead and just do that. And we're gonna change this to we'll say luminancy. And then we're just gonna move the picture around to find like a good spot. I think that looks pretty good. We can use other things like let's see, what can we use? Hmm, that doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't. Like, I don't like the color inside of it. Luminancy looks okay, but I'm probably gonna just make this darker. Let's see what happens if I just make the gray darker. And then I rasherize. A lot of trial and error stuff, but I'm just gonna see what it looks like. Um, it doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good. That, that'll works for me. So you can see that's how I got that little uh, little extra stuff going on here. And also I think I had a, a pattern inside this. So if I just wanna go ahead and just click over here again, make another box within this box, make it go to like here or something. Fill it in with random color, it doesn't really matter. What I'm gonna do is just basically take away the fill and I'm gonna just throw in, actually no, I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and put the fill back on. I'm gonna just change the color of the gray again, which is like that one right there. Rash has a layer really quickly. And then we're gonna put some stuff on, so like pattern overlay. If you have any patterns, if you don't, you can check out mine. I'll put them in the description down below. If you don't wanna use patterns, you can use any textures ever on just Google and just click mask them. Um, so I'm just gonna use something like this and just gonna see what I can get here. Uh, we'll do that, I think I have that, right? And then we'll just put that small. Lower the opacity down a bit, and there you go. You have like a little box here with a little pattern inside. Oh, I can also put something like uh, bevel and embos in if you want to have like a cool straight little line like this that I have right here. Just copy these settings. Perfectly cool. Uh, 100 depth, five size, zero soften, 91 angle or 90 angle doesn't really matter. One altitude, little angle here, and they can just mess around with this, and then you get like a little uh, little cut there. I mean, it's pretty cool. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. But there you go. Something like that looks pretty dope. And we're getting somewhere. Yep, yep. There we go. So you can see how it's starting to all formulate, and it's all you know. I probably not I'm not naming my layers right now, and I probably really, really should if I was going to go back and fix some stuff. But this, I don't know. I'm just just not really doing it right now. But I would say for you know, this is just a total purposes for you and doing your work. Please just name it because you're going to get lost and you're going to be real upset when you can't find something. But really quickly, I'm just going to go somewhere in the inside here, and on a new layer, I'm going to fill this in with any color. So all backspace to quick fill something. Uh, it doesn't really matter what color you're going to be using because we're going to get rid of the color by just using uh, the, the fill here and just lowering it down to zero. And I'm just going to use inner shadow now. And I'm going to go ahead and change my distance all the way to zero, mess around my stroke and my size, and we're going to get some little like uh, color in here. Um, something like that. Yeah. I'm probably going to control T and then move this over just a little bit. Something like that. Boom. I don't know, that looks pretty cool. I can also put a pattern in here as well, right? So pattern, and we'll just take like a cool one. Uh, do, 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 yeah, this is what I had before, I think is the other one, slow the opacity down, right? There we go, we got some other textures in here. You can put other, like I said, you can just go to Google, type in textures or something like that, or look for what you wanna use, and you can get stuff like this. And the whole point of making it like, say collage test effects, is what I wanna just make sure you guys do is just have fun with it, and there's nothing like, you know, you're doing wrong. You're just having fun with something and then just like, just you're basically adding on, uh, like not just adding on randomly though. You're just adding stuff on to make it look cooler, different ideas. You can go on for like ever. 
Um, I'm just gonna put one more thing just so you can show you guys what I do. Um, on another new layer, I'm gonna just take this. I'm just gonna make another rectangle somewhere. I'm gonna make sure it's black. So my alt, uh, my foreground color here is already black. I'm gonna just gonna alt backspace. I go to luminancy, uh, or I think it's color. I think right. Yeah, color to make something like black and white with that uh, with the uh, black little box here that we have. I can move it over. I can put it like like here or something or like down here or make it skinnier and then move it inside right something like that oops something like that yeah we can do something like that right now with also you can do the reason why I say you can do stuff like this is because it's on color no matter what the box is still out of the uh, this little area once I have things like this on color and if I want to move this box over here again uh, just something like down here or whatever when I do combine all this really quickly I'm gonna show you guys uh, obviously just hold, held shift well I'm gonna click on the top layer hold shift and click on the bottom layer to group everything or basically to select everything in between those two clicks uh, alt G to group them together and then basically if I double click on this and I put a drop shadow on you can also get things like this and that's how I gave you guys the example here that's why you guys see like boxes out here and over here it's because I took the um, I had color remember like I just used that little box right here uh, right here I believe you have this little black box that's on color it can't be seen of course on a white uh, so having a white background is probably like you know preferable I don't know if you can do it like just make sure it's white background if you want to do something like this that is and then you get something like this you can get some little cool drop shadows that will just come out of nowhere with these little random boxes all over the place and it looks pretty damn dope so that is the video for today I, I think I did pretty damn good for the first video of the freaking year so I hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget guys who likes on the video equals a secret down below do not forget to follow me on Twitter you can find out all this cool stuff that I want to do or you just want to talk to me or ask some questions it's at SysoHQ and ch uh, check out my Selfie, selfie.com slash SysoHQ for any pre-mades and packs it's always $5 as always, guys, I'm ready for the freaking beast year. I think I killed it with this tutorial, so we're going to have a lot of fun. So I'll talk to you guys later. Sisso HQ out. Peace.